talk about some things today but the the theme of the topic today is two stepping on your haters now we're not talking about literally stepping on them we're talking about continuing to rise above them continuing to ignore them I, some of you may have heard me say before non-factors and i don't let non-factors <laughs> that's right miss karen scott I don't let non-factors distract me. I don't let them, you know, lead me into the wrong direction or anything. So let me talk about, first of all, being properly influenced by non-factors, being properly influenced by people who only want you around to satisfy their agenda, okay? So now, you take a person that comes at you in this manner. Because they don't like someone, they don't want you to like them. Because they don't deal with them or support them, they don't want you to deal with or support them. Now, is their friendship, is that individual's friendship that important to you that you're going to let them lead you around? You're going to let them um, influence you to do things that you probably don't want to do. Okay, because let me tell you something. Miss Maya Angelou was more than correct when she said, when someone show you who they are, believe them. And just because it's not you that they're trying to turn other people against, one day it could be you. Believe that individual when they show you who they are. Because what they'll do to someone else, they will certainly do to you to make sure that their agenda is carried through. I'm telling you, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm talking about some, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, I want you to look at me. Look at me. I am not talking about people as if they're running any kind of um, underground, illegal world or mafia type things. I'm talking about your friends, people you think are your friends, people that you want to be or who you want to be your friends. Sometimes your friends aren't really your friends and they have a different agenda and you're just a part of their plan. So what you have to remember is if a person has an issue with you, liking someone else just because they don't like them be weary of that person be leery because they would do you the same way they'd get upset with you and turn everybody uh that will listen against you trust me it's been done to me and i've seen it done to others and it's been done to me several times and a few times by the same person and i can't believe people see it and still follow this individual doesn't matter to me none, but I'm just saying, don't think that what a person does to someone else, they won't do to you. So be careful who you allow to influence you. If they're not influencing you positively, they're not lifting you up. 
Oh, it's been done to you too. I'm telling you, this thing is real. If they're not lifting you up in a positive manner, telling you to go get that bag or go get whatever it is that makes you happy, telling you to get out of negative situations, you don't want to think twice about what type of relationship that you have because that person that you long to be friends with may, may be your number one hater. Okay, maybe the person that you need to get away from. I'm not trying to poison your relationships right now. I'm trying to get us to understand the difference of having a friend or the difference of having someone that's a social an associate, someone that's going to try to use you to uh, fulfill their agenda. Listen, let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody needed your help and they wanted your help so badly? I mean, they just had to have you involved. And when the mission was over, you felt empty. You felt like, what did I get out of this? Um, they're happy as they can be, but you feel like you have not gained anything. Be mindful of that relationship. Reevaluate that relationship because if you feel that way every time something is going on between you and that individual and they need you for all the time and what you need is not important because I'm telling you this is how it is. What you need is not important. That might just be a hater. Somebody that only needs you around when you can benefit them. Reevaluate those type of relationships. See, I told y'all, I'm the type of person that I touch on subjects that people don't want to touch on. This uh, Life is not always peaches and cream. I can sit here and give you some fairy tale stories all the time, but I'm going to tell you how it really is. And I want, and I'm praying that something that I say may uh, render some kind of, uh, eye-opening to you that you will see that everybody that call you friend is not a friend and sometimes they are truly a foe they're truly an enemy and and what we need to learn how to do is be by ourselves sometimes we need to learn how to walk away sometimes we need to learn how to say you know what you can do whatever it is that you want to do but there are just certain things that you're not going to do to me you know, do you, but you won't do you to me. And and people ask me all the time about how I walk away from certain people and certain relationships. I've even had people that tell me that I need to go and apologize to certain people so that I can win the election. I be damn, excuse my expression, I will never. I will never, because when I find out that you're not good for me or to me, I don't want to be around you. And if I got to lose the election 20 dozen hundred times, I will lose the election 20 dozen hundred times. But ain't no way I'm going back crawling to somebody that means me no good, that only wants to use me for their agenda. Come on, and I'm not calling any specifics out. I'm just saying nobody. If I ever find out that you're not on my team, you can go ahead on because I'm walking away briefly and swiftly, baby. So let me tell you guys, y'all be like me. I mean, it's nothing wrong with being by yourself. It's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with saying that this person, this relationship is no longer healthy. And be strong and keep moving because if you're sincere to what you do, if you're sincere to your work, People will see that you're sincere. But if you're a follower, you a little worker bee, you always want to be in the mix, and you think you're important, people see that as well. People see that as well. And see, that's the type of person I am. I, I, I identify worker bees. I identify those who are not um, invited to the real meeting. You come to the, it's about three meetings in every, every situation, let me put it away, about three meetings. Come on, y'all, walk with me. Listen to me. Understand what I'm saying. You get to the, the, you start thinking you hang around these big dolls, baby. They got about three different meetings. They got the first meeting that they have on the phone between just them, the orchestrators. Then they have that second meeting that they're going to have with the people, some of the people that they need to do the work to follow through with the work. That's the second meeting. You may or may not be invited to that second meeting, but you're definitely not invited 
married to that first meeting. Then you got that third meeting when they get on that telephone and start evaluating what you're doing and, and what they need and who else they need so they can call you and tell you go for to go get this, that, and the other. Come on, y'all. I done seen it all at all levels. First, second, third meeting, baby. And they might have a fourth meeting with just them where they divvying out everything that they have gotten off the, your back. Come on. I'm trying to tell you that, hi, hey, Deborah. I'm trying to tell you that everything that smiles and everybody that smiles in your face is not your friend. They could be a hater, a hater. So what I need for you to learn how to do is two-step on them, baby. I need for you to just dust them off, honey. Dust off the, wipe off the dust from your feet and keep moving. I need for you to understand that what's for you is for you and you don't have to kiss up to nobody about it when it's your time nobody can stop you okay nobody can tell you you can't have it when it's your time remember i talked last week about divine gifts when the gift is divine when it's from him above or whoever you serve and y'all know who i serve but when it's from him above the person that you believe and trust that does the miracles for you nobody can take it from you nobody so stop, stop kissing up to people. Stop telling people who, who you, let people tell you who you should be around. Because some of those people that you turn your back on, those are some good people. And they may be the people that can help you um, through your life and your journey, what you need. Why burn bridges with folks you don't even know? You think I'm going to let somebody tell me who not to be friends with? And that may be the, the very person I need to get some advice from? See, let me tell you. The person that guided me. Growing up, and I say growing up, but throughout my life with my young 20s, didn't look like me. We, we, we didn't have the same complexion. We didn't have the same tone. As a matter of fact, we didn't have the same gender. It didn't, he didn't look like me. It was a Caucasian man that guided me, that told me, Arnett, you are this. You are that. You are productive. You go to college. You have one son and you're still pushing. You work a 40 hour plus job a week. You still pushing. Let me teach you what you need to do. Uh, let me show you how to get you a side business. And the first thing he instructed me to do was get me um, sell some Avon. I started off selling Avon. That was my first um, other than the um, it was another little business I started in, in the uh, military, but I didn't keep it. Um, but this one, this man told me, he said, get you an Avon business. And I don't care if you have to sell or buy all the Avon yourself. You're going to use that business for your tax write-off because eventually you're going to be by yourself. You're not going to have your dependent. And I mean, he just was guiding me on what I needed to do. Okay. And I say that because more, a lot of times the people that's going to help you may not look like you. Okay, the people that you think should be on your side may not be on your side. That's why you can't just start throwing people aside or tossing people aside because someone tells you you should or someone tells you that they don't like you because of your skin color because they prejudice. You don't know what's in these people's mind and they don't either. All they know is what they're trying to implant in your mind so they can take control of what you're thinking. So they can take control of your 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 way of moving. They want to manipulate you. So if I tell you that this person over here don't like you, this person that don't know you, don't like you, that's what you're going to be thinking. If I teach you that this person over here is racist, that's what you're going to be thinking. And then let me tell you when the light turns on because you can't do that to me i know better when the light turns on and you realize that this person that you have been shunning the whole time has nothing against you because they're not looking at the outer you they're looking at the inner you and they're looking at what you have to offer and where the way that you live and how you talk and how you move then you're going to feel like an idiot because you're not shunned this person that possibly could have helped you throughout some things where this person over here that looks like you don't want nothing to do with you and help no they only going to help themselves how they're going to get above and get ahead and they can't get ahead with you anymore because you're not listening to that foolishness they're talking where that same person that they told you was against you is the person that they working with in the background come on somebody y'all better listen to me because i'm telling you you're being hoodwinked bamboozled led astray come on y'all heard it before 
that is what you're being. It's called crabs in the bucket. We're crabs in the bucket a lot of times. We're instead of pushing each other up, moving each other up, encouraging each other, we want to pull each other down. Sometimes those who look like us are our biggest haters. Most of the time. Okay, and I'm not trying to do no reverse anything here. I'm trying to teach you some things from tr being transparent as well. I'm trying to tell you, be careful who you call friend. Be careful who you call your associate. Sometimes they just somebody that you need to know and somebody that you need to stay away from. Okay, um, so many times we let the wrong people encourage us and we push the right people away and we so worried about how folks look i don't care how you look if you for me i'm for you okay if you truly have an interest in me i have an interest in you because i want to pick your brain just like you want to pick my brain i want to learn what's going to help me move to the next level i want to know are you in my life for a reason for a season I want to know that, and I don't care how you look. I don't care what your race or ethnicity is. That doesn't matter to me because God will use a dog, and then we know he'll use a donkey, to get you what you need, to get you where he wants you to be. And we have to stop alienating people and alienating ourselves from people because somebody else told us to because somebody else is manipulating our mind and you turn around you turn around and then let's go back to the voting part you turn around and you vote for these people that they told you to vote for and you realize that you got the same thing that you had in the beginning you realize that you're going right back around in a circle. You're not going forward. You're going around in a circle because you're electing the same type people. I don't know if I'm going to run again. And, I, and you know what gets me is I ran um, two times. The second time I came in closer than I ever you know, had done. And uh, people still asking me to run again and run again and run again. But the thing is, y'all, I ran on my own money. I ran on my own dime. You ask me to run. You don't contribute. You don't help me get out there and get the things I need to be noticed. And you asking me to run. Y'all don't know how hard it or how difficult it is to run a campaign on your own money. And I'm talking about on my budgeted money for my life. I used to run a campaign to help somebody else. I got two master's degree, a bachelor's degree, and an associate's degree when I count my degrees. I'm retired. I've been retired for about eight years, and I, I do pretty well. I do work a part-time job just to keep me busy. But the thing is, I, you know, still needed help. And I did all that to help somebody else because I'm at a place in my life where I, when I die, I want to leave everything I have positive, negative, so that you can learn from it. I want to leave it all right here, okay? I want to make sure that I was a part of something that, that ensured that our kids would be able to take a step into our footsteps and know and be confident that they can do the job and be somebody. And they don't have to have nobody in their ear telling them what to do, what move to make. That's what my desire is. I am sincerely a person that want to give back to the community. My community, I am from here, born and raised here. And I wanted to give back. And, you know, you didn't do what you should have done. Y'all should have got out there and voted for me because right now it's like... You want me to, to run in. I'm not talking to those of you who did vote. You're 11,000 plus who voted. I'm talking about the people who didn't vote for me, who I like they didn't know to vote for me. And now you're coming at me telling me to, to run again. I might run and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But understand, if I run, I'm going to need support. I'm definitely going to need support. So, But this is what I'm talking about, you guys. People manipulating your mind. People telling you to do this, that, and the other. And then you realize that they're just doing it for themselves. See, if, I, if I'm at the top and I position everybody where I need them to be, I got things going on because I know I put you there. And I can always tell you I'm going to take you out of there, okay? So I position you where I need you to be so you can do what I tell you to do. 
okay? So we got more elections coming up. We got more elections coming up. Make the right choice. I ain't gonna tell you who to vote for. When it gets closer, I'm gonna let you know who I'm gonna vote for. I'm going to let you know who I'm going to vote for, but I won't tell you who to vote for. You just make the right choice for you. If you know somebody salty or dirty, you better go with it. Believe them. When a person show you who they are, believe them the first time. Stop giving folks chances. And that's in every relationship that you have. Stop giving these people chances. Don't let nobody keep talking down to you. Don't let nobody keep making little smirks to you that you find offensive because what's going to happen. They're going to end up doing it at the wrong place, the wrong time, and you ain't going to be able to control yourself. And guess who's going to be in handcuffs? You. Nip it in the bud the first time. That's what I believe. Let me let me tell you something. When you when you come at me sideways, I'm gonna let you know right off the rip. Look, I don't like what you say to me. Don't play with me. That's your last time. I don't mess with you no more. I look at you like you know who are you? Why are you in my face? Because I do not play the radio. I do not play disrespect. I do not play that me running behind you. And if you lead me on. Y'all are all over the place with these haters now. I'm telling you, if you lead me on and have me thinking one thing and I find out that you lied on my baby, mm -mm, that's it. We are done. We are done. I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you a little bit, a little bit, if you've been telling me this long lie, and this lie that just continues to develop, I am done with you. Don't even call me. Because I'm not even going to act like I'm interested. And that's the type of person I am. Because if you're not with me, you're against me. If you're not with me, you become a non-factor. And what are we supposed to do with non-factors? We're supposed to leave them where they stand because they will only hold us back. We'll sit here and be arguing with non-factors and we can't get to our destination. We can't get to our, our mission, our goal, and we cannot allow people to take us there. So leave the non-factors in that file that they call um, 13. Leave them there in the garbage, in the trash can. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry if I if I if I offend you. I'm not calling you trash. I'm not calling you garbage. What I'm calling you is my non-factor. You mean something to somebody, but as as a, right now you're you're my non-factor, and I gotta leave you. And that's what I want to influence others to understand. You got a two-step on them haters. You gotta walk away swiftly and briefly from them haters, okay? And if you're the type of person that allow people to influence you to be a hater on somebody else, I need you to rethink your level of intelligence. I need for you to rethink your level of courage. You have to be stronger than that. You have to think for yourself. And that we need to you for you to rethink that relationship. Why would anybody encourage you to hate someone else? Why? Because misery loves company. And most of the time, when these people come together to hate on you, people, when they come together to hate on you, my friends, lovelies, they don't even like each other. But they will come together and hate on you. Okay? Don't worry about that. Don't entertain that foolishness. Don't entertain that. Keep moving. Keep going to where you're going to go. I'm going to keep pushing until they take me out there to that, that cemetery, that hoard, it called hoardings, that military uh, place where they're going to put my, my, my um, remains. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep two-stepping on my haters. I'm going to keep stumping on the devil's head, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, I, I'm not going to let anybody stop me. I don't care whether I'm married or not. I am not going to allow anybody to stop me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and that is giving back to the community. That is making sure that people have an avenue of telling people what they're doing for the community. Listen. I don't care whether you were with me or against me throughout my journey, but if I see you doing something that I think is positive, that I think people need to know, I'm going to reach out to you and can't nobody tell you I can't. I'm, I'm not because people have 
uh, receive texts from me, messages from me, calls from me, and I reach out to you. If somebody say they need something and I know you can do it, I call you. People can't say I do because I do. People in the community right now, I've called last week and asked them to do some things that needed to be done in the community. I, I, I have a whole bunch of phone numbers that I can connect with folks, and I love putting people where they need to be. So if you know anybody that needs to be somewhere, let me see if I can help them. They can come on the show. They can tell me about what they're doing. Cause see, cause I'm not here to hate on nobody. I don't care how you treat me. If I think you're doing something positive, I'm gonna help you, okay? As long as you're respectful. Don't want me to come out the bag on you now. But as long as you're respectful, I'm gonna help you. Because you might just have something that somebody else may need. Okay, and that's why you should not allow people to influence you to come against other people because you just never know who it is that may give you a helping hand, who it is that may need to reach out to you. We have to be so mindful of the things that we allow to happen in our life. Everybody do not have our best interests at hand. That is why we have to have our best interests at hand. Okay, I walk around here, you know, um, like I'm already where I'm supposed to be. I walk around here like I got a pocket full of money and a fleet full of cars, right? I don't. I, I really don't. But guess what? My mentally, my mind, mentally, I am where I'm going to be. Mentally, if I shall live that long, I am where I'm going to be. I'm going to one day be able to walk around here and not worry about funds and not worry about one car breaking down. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there. So that's how I live. And I don't care about anything. Whatever's happening is happening. And that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. But I'm going to keep pushing, and I want to encourage others to do the same thing. It's a mind thing, and you can't let anybody control your mind. You cannot allow people to manipulate your mind, because when they start manipulating you into doing what they want you to do, it stops you from doing what you need to be doing, what you want to do for yourself. You want you stop what you're doing because you got to help this person. Don't you ever think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to inconvenience myself to do something for you. Now, if I can help you, I'll tell you to what extent that I can help you. But I'm not going to inconvenience myself to do something for you. And you should not expect me to. Because then I start thinking about you. you a little suspect. Are you a friend or are you a foe? Are you a really, are you, are you, are you a hater? See, y'all have to look at stuff like that. Pay attention to what people are asking you to do. And pay attention to why they're asking you to do that. Are they doing it to keep you back? To hold you back? Because do they ever influence you to do things for yourself, to better yourself, to keep pushing for yourself? It ain't enough for me to call somebody and say, listen, you need to get out of the house. You done been in there too long. That's not healthy. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to start your own business. It's real easy. Let me show you how. It's nothing for me to do that. And if you don't have a person in your life that's doing that, if your so-called friend isn't doing that, you need to think of, uh, rethink that friendship. Rethink that friendship and start two-stepping, baby. Two-step on them haters now. Don't be afraid to do it. You'll be all right. You'll find somebody else. As a matter of fact, you'll find yourself. And when you find yourself within, you'll never be lonely. You'll never be alone. Ever. Find yourself within. I can sit in my office all day. I can sit at home all day. And I can be by myself. And guess what? I will never be lonely. Never be alone. Now, I ain't saying, you know, sometimes I don't need certain things. I do. But I get that and I get on by, by myself. And to the Lord, you'll see fit to uh, send me a significant other that's going to be true and not be a liar. I wait. I shall wait. Okay. And all of y'all will be invited to my wedding. But I just want you to know that... Um, don't let people hate on you right in your face. Don't 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 let people drag you into that party. They can't stand you, but yet you smiling and grinning in their face. Be true to the game. You know you can't stand me. I'm not gonna look at you and 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 open my mouth and show you my teeth and smile at you unless I'm laughing at you. But we're not gonna break bread together ever. 
ever. Because I'm not that type of person. I'm not dirty. I don't, I don't do things behind people's back. I'm real with it. If I don't care for you, I stay away from you. And, I, and that's for any age. Disrespect for children, I stay away from them. I'm going to treat you kind. I'm going to treat you like the adult that I'm supposed to do. But I'm going to 10 feet, baby. You get a, a long handle spoon because those little disrespectful children be the ones that have you downtown. So say you lied on you. Say you done did something. Say, listen, I'm telling you, transparency, baby, I done been through it all. I done been through it all. I can tell y'all about that story. But listen, I want you. Everybody that's under the sound of my voice, I ain't your pastor, I just sound like him. But under the sound of my voice, reevaluate everything and everybody around you. And when you realize that somebody is not for you, somebody is not on your team, they're not rooting for you the way that you're rooting for them, I need you to go ahead on and two-step on them, okay? Two-step on your haters. Don't let your haters bring you down. And we're going to see you uh, next Sunday because I know that you know that I love you. God loves you. Go ahead and love yourself. Because you can't love anybody else unless you love yourself. Come on, two step. Oh, my hater. Two step. Oh, my hater.